This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you in your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Alabama Turfgrass Association. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode of Alabama Turfgrass, we feature an article titled, Be Friendly to Everyone, Whether They Purchase Your Brand of Equipment or Not. Mickey Pitts was born on Christmas Day in 1948 in Red Level, Alabama. Raised on a farm near Andalusia, Mickey had two sisters and no brothers, allowing him to claim the title of favorite son. He often helped with farm chores, instilling a love of agriculture and a skill set that would inspire his later career. Mickey graduated from Red Level High School and attended just one year of junior college before being drafted by the military. He decided then to enlist in the Air Force for four years, hoping to avoid deployment to Vietnam. Nevertheless, he deployed to Vietnam in January of 1970, serving 13 months overseas. Mickey was a crew chief on fighter jets and was under fire many times, but fortunately made it home intact. When his active military career ended, Mickey joined the Alabama National Guard and served with them for many years. Upon his return to the United States, Mickey met his future wife, Jenny. They married in 1971 and have two daughters, Amy and Ashley. Mickey's career in the turf industry started when he left the Air Force and decided to return to his roots. He started working with Don Cotton at Turf Pride in the 1980s. Mickey found that his childhood on a farm made him a good fit for turf sales. He worked at Neary after Turf Pride, then settled at Tyco in 1993. After working at Tyco for almost a decade, Mickey moved to Beard Equipment in 2001. Soon afterwards, the World Trade Center was destroyed in a terrorist attack. Mickey expected to be called into guard service in the Middle East, but fortunately, he remained stateside and retired from the National Guard in 2010. Mickey had been acquainted with Herman Block prior to joining Beard Equipment, and when Beard began selling John Deere equipment, Mickey really found his sales footing. He received a John Deere ring and many other honors from John Deere over the years. Mickey's sales strategy is to be friendly with everyone, whether they're purchasing your equipment or not. Personability and kindness to potential customers can help overcome sales challenges most of the time. Convincing potential customers that the equipment is worthwhile can be difficult, but a good product and a friendly face overcomes most obstacles, according to Mickey. It's simple, but the key to sales success is kindness. During his career, Mickey has traditionally enjoyed playing golf. He doesn't get out to the course much anymore, but that doesn't mean that he is slowed down. He spends time with his granddaughters, Lily and Ingram. He has also increased his travel, visiting everywhere from Alaska to Key West with his wife and friends in the past few years. Mickey ends his reflections on his career thus far by thanking his co-workers. The guys I've worked with have always been a blessing in my life. Mickey has never met a stranger. He loves his job and the people he does it with. The Alabama Turfgrass Association has been blessed to have Mickey as a member for many years, and he has also served on the ATA board and then the executive board as treasurer and vice president. Thank you, Mickey, for your service to your country, your employers, your customers, and your ATA family. Don't miss an episode of Alabama Turfgrass. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to the Turf Zone. For more episodes of the Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.